Today we have such an exciting video. I get to share all my favorite products with you guys. I've been holding on to these products for so long. And now comes the time where I can finally show them to you guys. I've been seeing this trend where people say like hot girls don't gatekeep on TikTok. And then you swipe through and it's like, how is your hair so healthy? How does your makeup look so good? And then they share their favorite products. So we're gonna recreate that. We're gonna start with my favorite scents. If you guys know me, you guys know that I love perfume. We're gonna start with my number one daytime perfume, which is the Billie Eilish Original Perfume. It's the gold one. I don't think it really has a name, it's just Billie Eilish number one. Oh, it smells so good. It's like vanilla, cinnamon, spicy, all combined together. It's not even too expensive. It's $60 compared to so many other perfumes, which are like, hundreds and hundreds of dollars so I would say it's worth the money and I even like it better than the Kylie perfume next I want to show you guys this perfume it's the Byredo Rain de Nuit perfume it's definitely on the pricey side it's definitely a lot more expensive than the Billie Eilish perfume <laughs> it is worth every penny Every time I go out and I wear this, people always ask me, what are you wearing? You smell so good. What is that perfume? Let me write it down. This is a very nighttime scent. I only wear this at night. It's very strong. It's actually a perfume extract. It's like a very strong, sexy rose scent. Even though it's expensive, it can last you for so long because you only need one spray. You're gonna smell it all night. I was wearing a blazer and I came home and I wore the blazer again like a week later. I could still smell this perfume on it. That's how strong it is and it smells so good. I'm also gonna include some of my favorite body products. So I recently have been loving this Rare Beauty Hydrating Body Lotion. It's in a lavender scent. It's like the most relaxing scent ever. It's not sticky at all, blends right into your skin. It's so good and smells like the perfect lavender nighttime scent it's like calming relaxing ready to go to sleep type of scent so so good it's been really hard for me to find a good deodorant i use all these like chemical deodorants i use the secret gel deodorant and that's the one that's been working really well for me but recently i've been using this necessaire gel deodorant it's like a roller ball let me show you it's eucalyptus scented and it actually has AHAs so I think it lightens your underarms if I'm not mistaken AHAs would probably be lightening your underarms beware if you just shaved your armpits um it might sting a little bit because it has AHAs so don't do it right after you shave your armpits I made that mistake, but I've been loving this deodorant. It smells so fresh and clean. It's like a clean girl deodorant. That's the best way to describe it. Finally, body wash. I have really sensitive and dry skin, so I need a very hydrating body wash. So I am really picky about body washes. This one has been working really well for me. It's very hydrating and it's not too overpowering. You just smell clean when you get out of the shower and you smell like orchids like a little floral scent I really like this one Tasha how did your skin clear up <laughs> oh my gosh I hate saying that I've talked about this on this channel before but my skin used to be really really bad and you can probably go back to my old get ready with me videos and I was breaking out so much and you can see like you can see that in my old videos but recently my skin has actually been doing pretty well so let me share some of my favorite products that i think contributed to this so this is my cleanser it's the tula cult classic cleanser there's a fragrance free version as well for my girlies with sensitive skin who don't want fragrance this cleanser is so hydrating it doesn't strip your skin i've tried so many cleansers this is like one of the only cleansers that i really 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 genuinely enjoy it's really gentle but takes off all your makeup cleans your skin it's really great i love it in the shower i wash my face with the la roche posay purifying foaming cleanser i use this one 
in the mornings when I wake up and this one in the showers at night when I take a shower. This was recommended to me by my dermatologist and it's really gentle as well. I really, really like it. For acne prone skin, I would say stick with gentle cleansers because if you're using other acne products and you don't want them to get irritated if you use both of them together. Now this product, the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty has literally saved my skin. It's non-comedogenic, it's safe for sensitive skin. I've tried so many moisturizers and I used to break out and they wouldn't fully absorb into my skin and my skin would still be dry afterwards. This is like the perfect face moisturizer. Honestly, I saw my face clear up the most when I switched to this moisturizer and nothing compares to this. For my acne products, I use tretinoin cream and I use this maybe two to three times a week at nighttime. This has also lightened my acne scars and cleared up my skin. And then on days that I don't use it, I use Dapsone Gel 5%. These were both prescribed to me by my dermatologist, so you guys would need a prescription to get both of these. Those two are my acne products and they have definitely helped my skin clear up a lot. I'm not wearing any of my jewelry right now, but y'all know that I love jewelry and I have some staple pieces that I wear all the time. First one is my little bear necklace. On TikTok, you guys asked me so much about this necklace. Like, everyone asked me about this. It's from EP Jewels. It's so cute. It's my 01 necklace. Let me show you which is also from ep jewels i also recently got a new bear necklace y'all know me and bears okay y'all know me and bears i saw this one and i literally had to get it it's so cute tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen i could wear this more with like edgy edgy outfits this is from heaven scent which is a small business if i find the link i'll link it for you guys my last staple necklace that you guys have seen me wear in my videos all the time this little angel and pearl combo this is from every jewels it's the sam nicole every jewels collab i love sam nicole and i love every jewels and i love this necklace all my rings are from missouri i love missouri it's pretty expensive but it's so nice because you can wash your hands with the jewelry it's not gonna rust or anything a double stock I found that investing in good quality pieces is a lot better than just pieces that get rusted quickly and then you have to throw them away, buy a new one. I'd rather just spend my money on a really good quality ring and keep it forever. <music> to my favorite category, makeup. How does my skin look so dewy? Um, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum coupled with the Magic Cream. These two to prime your skin with, they're a game changer. They make your base go on so nicely. You need to try it. If if anything, get the magic serum and not the magic cream. Like if you had to pick one, I would say the magic serum. But the cream is just as good. But for a primer, the magic serum is really, really good. I swear by this. I'm gonna mention the beauty blender. This one's dirty because I've just used it to do my makeup now. The beauty blender is from the brand Beauty Blender. That was like a whole tongue twister. <laughs> but those perform the best. I haven't found another beauty blender that is as good as this one. Foundation. Foundation is so important if you want dewy skin that looks like skin. This Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation makes your skin just look like skin. It gives you a lot of coverage, but it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. Another product that I love is the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. I use the shade Full of Life, but this bronzer stick literally blends into your skin so nicely. I'm wearing it right now. It takes like two minutes to blend it in, and all my other bronzer sticks don't blend as well, and that's why I love this one. I've recently been using the YSL Lip Slick, I think that's what it's called. Oh, bruh, so wrong. The YSL Love Shine. I've been seeing this all over TikTok. Can we have a moment? It feels like a lip balm, but it gives you coverage like a lipstick. It's like satin, so it's like a little bit shiny. I love this for lip glosses i use the refi clear gloss it just gives you the perfect glass finish the charlotte tilbury pillow talk 2 medium lipstick is literally my everyday go-to lipstick i'm wearing it right now 
underneath the YSL Love Shine and this is my go-to lipstick for maybe like a year now and I still love it. It's just such a universal color. I feel like it's flattering on so many people. And finally for lip products, the Polite Society Lip Balm. It's like a glossy lip balm and I have French Caramel. First of all, this smells Oh, it smells like cake, but also it's like a light brown color and it's tinted a little bit So I put it on top of my lipstick and it just gives my whole lips a more peachy Feel for setting sprays. I've been loving these two. It's the airbrush flawless from Charlotte Tilbury and The morphe continuous setting mist. I love this one because it's continuous like it's the perfect spray. This one gives you such a nice dewy finish to your makeup and now that it's summertime everyone wants like a dewy look. If you want that dewy look, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. It's a little expensive but it is good. Moving on to the last category, hair. I've dyed my hair three times. I've gotten full highlights, so my hair is very damaged. I think I know a thing or two about hair and what hair products have worked for me. I use the Olaplex conditioner. This is like an OG. I feel like a lot of people use this. And it's good. It's great. It has definitely helped my hair out a lot, and it leaves my hair feeling super soft. I'm a huge hair mask girl, and I do them at least once a week. I've been loving recently this Ceremonia Guava hair mask. When I'm blow drying my hair, I can notice that my hair is just so much softer, even without any product in it. I use the Color Wow Dream Coat, and you spray this liberally in your hair, like once a week and then you blow dry it it's heat activated so you have to blow dry it after you spray it in your hair but i find this gives you the softest hair and it lasts for so long so highly recommend also i use this verb glossy shine spray it's a heat protectant spray but it also leaves your hair so shiny especially if you're using heat on it and then lastly of course i have to mention my dyson i don't have the air wrap i have the dyson blow dryer this one it has the different attachments and everything it just gives you the best blowout in my opinion it is worth the hype and look how cute it is I definitely had to mention the Dyson because I use it every time I wash my hair to blow dry my hair because I don't like going to sleep with wet hair alright guys those are all the products that I wanted to share with you guys I hope you found something you liked thank you guys all for watching I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Thank you.